You're at 40 left, your opponent is at 120 left, and it's his turn. Who is it you wouldn't want to make that shot? I would definitely say James Wade. Wade is perhaps often underestimated because he may appear less spectacular than other players, but he is one of the most successful players on the PDC circuit. For 20 years, always present at the highest level with a solid and linear throwing action. When you think of a solid player, you think of James Wade. Let's take a look at the secrets of his throw. Wade is positioned exactly in the middle of the Oki. You can draw a line from the heel to the eye. It is perfectly aligned. James uses a closed stance, a common choice that allows him to be closer to the target. The stance is similar to that of MVG or Phil Taylor. Wade's stance is like his throw, solid and linear. His shoulders are perfectly aligned. The elbow is high and in line with the shoulders. During the entire throw, nothing moves except the forearm. James uses a very linear three-finger grip. Thumb and index finger hold the dart at the back, practically on the stem. The middle finger gives stability by resting between the dart and the tip. The index finger is slightly raised so as not to obstruct the view. Let's move on to the analysis from the front cam. It is not very clear from the video whether Wade is left eye dominant because the dart is almost in the middle of his face. It is my opinion that he is, in fact, I have highlighted the left eye with a yellow circle. However, we do not know for sure. Otherwise, the elbow is slightly open, not 90 degrees, but solid throughout the throwing phase. In this section, we compare the current James Wade with that of the early 2000s. It is fascinating to note that both the stance and the throwing action have hardly changed at all. James, starting with a linear, replicable shot, has built the consistency he is famous for in the PDC circuit, leading him to be consistently competitive over the last 20 years. Wade is one of the players where the three phases of the throwing action, set, pull back and release, are perfectly delineated, emphasizing the concept that linear and repeatable throwing certainly helps consistency. James sets the dart at around 112 degrees, then makes the pull back to 80 degrees and then performs an excellent release with the arm perfectly extended and the wrist giving the whip by rotating the dart. Let's talk about speed. Speed is not an element that affects the level of a darts player. However, I usually like to include it in the analysis because it is an element that adds awesomeness in a match. Wade takes about seven seconds to release the darts certainly not among the fastest on the PDC circuit, I would say average. Thank you for watching the video. Write in the comments who you would like to be analyzed next.